Are you looking to add a more dynamic and cinematic feel to your animations with some depth of field? Would you like elements in your scene to blur based on their distance from a focal point? You're in the perfect place to learn just that. Here's what you need to do to get started. Create a focal point layer. This will be a null object representing your scene's sharpest point and name it focal underscore point and enable 3D on layers. For this effect to work, both your focal point layer and the layer you wish to apply the lens blur must be 3D. Select the layer affected by the depth of field and add the camera lens blur effect. Now, let's plug in our expression to the blur radius of the camera lens. Here's what each part of the expression does. Focal layer. This variable refers to the layer that will remain sharp and in focus. You can choose any layer as your focal point. Ensure you type its name correctly here. Focus distance. Here, you define the distance from the camera at which layers are perfectly in focus. Layers at this distance will have no blur applied. Blur factor. This controls the rate at which the blur increases as layers move away from the focus distance. The higher the number, the more blur is applied per pixel of distance. Add this expression to the blur radius property of the camera lens. Blur effect on any layer you want to be affected by the depth of field. And voila! You have a dynamically blurring scene based on the distance from your focal layer. That's all for this guide. If this tip was handy, please drop a like and subscribe for more After Effects wisdom. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, a great life, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.